Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, it's gonna be all about mounts. Yes! These are passion inspired mounts. Perfect for Valentine's Day or a romantic evening, okay? If you wanna see how I make this masterpiece, keep on watching. Yes! Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, darling. Yay! So guys, as promised on my live stream last Sunday, I'm gonna be making melts with you guys. Yay! Perfect for Valentine's Day. So let me show you what I have in here. So I have one, two, three, and four different molds that I'm gonna be working with today, guys. And in order for me to prepare these molds, I'm gonna be using my favorite contraption from Amazon, which is this pancake batter. I'm gonna link. I'm gonna link it below, guys. This is made of stainless steel. This is the base. It's great because you can just stand it there. Uh, you can use uh, the heat gun to make uh, to heat it up if you want to. And then it has a very tight, very nice silicone um, seal in there. Show you. And it doesn't get, it doesn't get, it doesn't uh, melt because it's made to withstand heat. Okay. So this is very nice for you to have, guys. If you're gonna be making melts or if you have. Uh, if you make a uh, body of candles, you know, very small quantities amount that you need to be precise when you put the, uh, the wax in the different uh, molds, this is the best thing you can ever buy, okay? And I think it was, it was only like um, $20 or something like that. So yeah, I'm gonna link it below, guys, okay? So let me just put this to the side. Okay, guys, so in order for me to find out how much wax I'm gonna be needing for these molds, uh, this, this is what I'm doing. I don't know if it's gonna be that accurate, but uh, what I did is I took some water and I have a scale. Let me just find the scale now. Okay, so let me just put this to the side and let me show you, okay? Okay, so as you can see, I have some water in here. I have the scale in here. I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna put the hearts on top of the scale. I'm gonna hit tear. So you can see, let me just bring you guys closer. So, if you have a, a mold that is very sturdy, by all means, fill all the hearts with water. Or, if you want to do this, you can just fill up uh, the four ones in, in, in the center, okay? So, what you do is you multiply that. You know, if you have like, um, let's say you have one heart and you want to only do one heart of water, you can multiply that by the amount of hearts that you have, okay? So, let's try doing that to see if it works, okay? So, I have zero, zero, and I'm going to fill up one heart. Okay, I get point, 0 0.5 ounces. Okay, so let me just make a note of that. Okay, so if I get 0 0.5 ounces for one heart, and I multiply that by, so 0 0.5 times, and you count how many hearts do you have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. By 12 equals 6 ounces, okay? And remember, this is the water weight. This is not the wax weight, okay? Again, I'm only gonna do one. Tear. And let's fill up one stop. Okay, 0 0.2. 0 0.2 ounces for one star. That means that if I have 0 0.2 times 12 equals 24, I know, but I'm just gonna do it. 0 0.2 times 12 equals 2.4 ounces, okay? Hexagon, we have the circle and we have the, the square, so tear. So I'm gonna do one of each. Okay, I'm gonna do 1.2 because I got a little bit over there, okay? 1.2. And then, because I have in here one unit, and this is one, two, three, and four, so you multiply that by four, okay? So 1.2 times four. 1.2 times four equals 4.8. Guys, I'm, I hope this is clear for you guys. Okay, in here, I'm only gonna make one heart. So I'm gonna fill this up. Again, tear, fill up one heart. Okay, 1.4, 1 1.4 for one. So then you multiply one times six, because we have six hearts. So it's 1.4, 1 1.4 1 times six equals 8.4. Okay, and remember this is all water weight. Now I need to go on the cell phone and do my wax calculator to find out the, to convert this into wax, okay? 
Okay guys, so let me show you uh, what I'm doing. Uh, in order for me to find out how much wax I'm going to be needing, what I did is I added all the water weights from all different molds. 6 ounces, 8.4, 2.4, and it added up to 21.6. Let me show you guys the, uh, the wax that I'm going to be using for this project. It's, gonna, it's called it's Tart Wax. It's uh, all natural soy tart blend. Okay? Let me see if you can see it. That's the name. Can you see the number? T Tart Wax TW30. It's all natural soy wax blend. So in, I got this from California Candle Supply. Can you see in there all the information? Please take a note, a note of that. I'm going to link this also below on the description box, okay? So now let me just go into my cell phone and let me just use the candle calculator to find out the numbers of how much wax we need uh, because I'm gonna melt all the wax in one at once, you know. I'm gonna be using uh, this melter in here um, as a grill to melt the wax because um, as you know, my, my Presto Pop has uh, soy bliss wax and soy bliss wax is not good for, uh, to make melt, okay? So let me just uh, get everything ready guys and I'll be right back. Yeah! The website that I got the, the tar wax it's called CaliforniaCandlesupply.com and let me see what it says in here about the tarp wax because I want to find the information about you know how warm how hot does it have to get to get uh, let's see how much fragrance low I can put in there okay it says in here the tarp wax is out of stock and uh, estimated time of arrival is February 25th of this year okay so let's let's click on that Okay, so TW30 is an all-natural soy tart wax made specifically for wax burners and melters. TW30 is one of the hardest waxes in consistency, making it ideal for tart molds and other molds. It can also hold 18% fragrance loads. This gives you wax melt an extra 33% boost in performance and life in, the, in comparison to other waxes used for tart making. Yeah. Because what you need to do is just um, you just melt it for a few uh, for less time, so that way you sell uh, you save time and uh, you save money. Okay, so wax specifications: all natural soy tart wax. Okay, it says heat resistant and holds shape, allowing for using molds formulated for proper wax shrink during setup time for easy mold removal. So uh, I remember now this wax tends to. Uh, to shrink a little bit, so I'm gonna have to take that into consideration when I'm uh, converting the wax into uh, from water weight to wax because I'm gonna I'm gonna add a, a tiny bit more just to compensate compensate for the shrinkage. Okay, it says clean, solid white finish. Uh, it says may require more dye for deeper colors. Okay, no additives required. Okay, let's see in here what it says how to uh, work with this. Okay, uh, note, feel free to use any fragrance load as you wish up to 18%. Uh, fragrance loads of 18% is not required, it's up to you if you wanna add more, okay? So, however, we recommend between 15 and 18% fragrance load. It says in here, melt point is from 130 to 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it says pour temperature 160. It doesn't say in here how how warm to melt it. So I'm gonna be using 185 as the uh, melting uh, point and to add the fragrance oil at 185 because that's what it says in here on the melt point chart to add the fragrance, okay? I mean to uh, to melt the wax, okay? Usually for when it's pure uh, soy wax, it's 185 is the ideal temperature to go, not, not higher than that. Also, you know, so we'll see, okay? So let me just make a note of that because that's what I recommend. I recommend between 15 and 18 percent. Okay, that's. I'm so glad that I'm looking at this before I'm converting to to wax because it's better. Okay, so the heat to 185 Fahrenheit. As fragrance load, uh, it says 160. I'm gonna add it to 185. One between 180 and 185. Okay. And pour a 160. Okay, guys. Now I'm gonna go and convert uh, the weight into from water to wax. Yes. 
Okay, guys, we're back, darling. I got the numbers. Yes. So according to my calculations, I wanted to. Uh, I added 0 0.2 ounces of water weight, uh, just to allow for shrinkage on the wax. I don't know whether or not that's gonna be enough. I'm just gonna put. Um, I'm just gonna put a, a little bit extra, you know. And if it's not enough, it's not enough. Okay. So the numbers are for wax for tart wax. I'm going to need 18.96 ounces of wax and 2.84 ounces of fragrance. Okay, guys? So now the best part of the video, guys, is to choose a fragrance. Okay, so I'm going to go into the candle bar and I'm going to choose a, a few fragrance oils that I think may be uh, uh, good for, for Valentine's Day. And I'll be right back. Yes! Okay, guys. So before I go and select the fragrance oil, let me just... Might as well just wait the wax in here and have it ready for, for us, okay? So let me just bring you guys lower so you can see. Uh, you know what, guys? I'm gonna make it, uh, instead of 18.9, I'm gonna make it 19 ounces. It's very, it's very, it's very dry, you know, very. Okay, two ounces. Wow, this is very hard. Okay, let's see. I want 19 ounces. Okay, 18. Okay, 19.1, that's perfect. I have a little bit extra. Okay, let me just close this and put this away. Okay guys, we're back. So I went and selected these fragrance oil from uh, West Sand Candle Supply. It's a very good, it's from Jeff Stanley's, I love them. Okay, so I'm gonna make a combination. I'm gonna be making um, a very complex combination, guys, for Valentine's Day, but I do love this cashmere and cocoa butter. So I'm gonna make a scent strip, one of them guys. So let's see, cashmere cocoa butter. Valentine's Day to me is about uh, food and it's about sweetness. You know, that's why I also got the vanilla here. And I like the Caribbean thick wood because I like the woodsiness and make it more like robust. So let's see. The first test strip is gonna be cashmere cocoa butter. And I wanna see how all this blend together. So I'm not gonna smell it now, I'm just gonna put it to the side. I'm just putting it to the side. Plumeria, because I like, I love this flower. And I think it will go, it will go good. We'll see. And guys, you do the best, the, your favorite or uh, your favorite combination, okay? I'm, I'm only doing what, what I love, the fragrances that I like, and I just don't wanna give you my back all the time. So I'm just gonna try to go like this, okay? Let's to the side. I really smell it, it smells amazing. Okay, vanilla, because everything with vanilla smells great, especially Valentine's Day, you know, people like to, to have the chocolate, the sweets, you know, and it's, you know, it goes very well. Oh my God, that's potent. Okay, next one is Caribbean Tiku. This is one of my favorite ones. The vanilla is it's very overpowering, so I have to be careful with that one. It's it's taking over the whole room. So I don't know about that one, but we'll see. And of course, my favorite, you cannot have a sexy candle without tobacco caramel. The masculinity of the tobacco leaf and the sweetness of the caramel, you know, that also has vanilla on it. And this is from the flaming candle. Okay, so if I were to use this scent. I will not use the vanilla because that's overkill and that will be uh, too much vanilla, too much sweetness in the candle. And I don't want that. This is not a baking candle. This is a romantic candle. And I'm not gonna look at any other uh, at any other program oils because I'm pretty like. Okay, let me just put this away. Cashmere cocoa butter. I want it to be the main player in this. I smell the sweetness and I also have vanilla, I believe. It's very buttery, very, very sweet, you know? So I'm hesitant on putting uh, vanilla on this because it already has some kind of vanilla, some, some kind of, uh, well, the cocoa is also sweet, you know? So you get those, those sweet notes in the background. So I don't think I'm gonna be uh, trying the vanilla with this. Let's see. Uh, it's very overpowering. I don't think I'm gonna be using the uh, the vanilla, the ball vanilla. 
this is good for baking uh, for baking scent for baking candles it's excellent but let me just take it away from the party put it to the side and let me just put this away so I, I don't smell it anymore if I keep it in here it will be in the background okay now let's see plumeria Plumeria, exquisite. This is beautiful. This is my favorite flower, guys. Uh, this is what they call a frangipani, also frangipana, something like that. It's beautiful tree, guys, in Hawaii. And the flower is so, so uh, tropical, so uh, so invigorating. I have hand lotions made of this also. Okay, so let's see how these two together. My God, they really well play really nice together, guys. Uh, why? Because you have you have the floral, you have the floral, and then you have the sweetness also note, and then you have the uh, the cashmere. The cashmere is like kind of very comforting. Okay. Now, let me add to the party the Caltumeria and add Caribbean thick wood. Okay, Caribbean thick wood by itself is heavenly. These two together, guys. I think I made a candle out of this on one of my videos, guys, and I loved it. Okay, I think I like this better like this uh, without the plumeria. But let me add the plumeria because I have it out. Might as well. I have to try everything once, okay? It does complement the two other fragrances. It does work. But do I want such a complex candle? You know, sometimes when you put too much to party, you ruin it. Let me see Plumeria and Caribbean thick wood without the cashmere. Cocoa butter. Oh, this one is really beautiful. Really different. Uh, I never smelled like this before. Did something like this before. Okay, let me see with tobacco caramel. And plumeria. No, 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 no. Okay, tobacco caramel with cashmere cocoa butter. You see, to me, it's too sweet. I know people will love this, but I think I find it too sweet. Uh, so it kills the vibe, it kills the romance, okay? Uh, let me see tobacco caramel with Caribbean thick wood. Okay, this is the one, guys. Oh my God. This is heavenly. Okay, this is it, guys. Caribbean thick wood. Uh, it has the strength of the woodsiness. Uh, and it has the, the tobacco leaf that it mingles with the wood also. Um, the caramel makes it like everything like come together. Very comforting, very uh, romantic. I like, I like it a lot, okay? I think it's gonna make a wonderful uh, melt, okay? It will make a wonderful candle too. Okay, so let me just make another of this. Okay, so I'm gonna be making these two. Okay, let me just put this to the side. Okay. Okay, guys, now I'm, let me just put all this away. Uh, first, I'm gonna measure the oils to put them to the side because I need to clear this whole grill because I'm gonna start warming up the wax. Okay, so let me just get another the scale. So if we have 2.84, ounces of fragrance load for 15%, I need to divide that by two. So we have 2.84 divided by two equals 
1.42 ounces each. It's Caribbean pig wood. And again, I need 1.42 ounces. 1.4, okay. I think I have a bigger bottle of this also. I need to find it, 0.4. Perfect. Okay guys, we're back. So I'm gonna put the wax in here and I'm gonna turn this on. Again, the temperature we need for these uh, tarts, for these tart molds, for the starts, it's 185 degrees Fahrenheit. That's when we're gonna be adding the fragrance oil. And I was thinking, oh my God, this smells so good. I was thinking also in adding some color. So what color should we add guys for Valentine's Day? Of course, I'm thinking about red. So let me see the colors that I have. Let me just bring the colors. You know what, what the hell? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play with this. I want it to be an intense color. And we know that soy wax never goes intense. So might as well just use very dark and deep color because once you put it into the wax, it's gonna get very light. That's my experience in the past, guys. So I'm just gonna use this orchid and I'm gonna use the, uh, a burgundy, okay? So I don't know how much to use. This comes, each block is half an ounce. Each block, I'm gonna use half a block of burgundy. Just because we're experimenting. And I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add, uh, see, how many orchids die ships should I add? Just because we're experimenting, I'm gonna add a couple of them. Okay. So I'm gonna add three of them. Okay, should I add any other color guy for this? I think this should be fine. It's like a, a purple and burgundy together. It's gonna make it like very bloody color. Yes! A long time to melt. I'm pretty sure guys. So we're gonna have to be here like Ah, just relaxing. I'm having some coffee. Good workout. I have my glutes workout today. And I did my chest and I did my upper shoulder and I did my arms. Very contraction, guys. And I'm gonna get it warmed up with my heat gun because it's stainless steel so we can withstand with that uh, heat. I'm worried about this in here because this is getting hot too. Maybe I should bring this forward a little bit more. This furniture in here. So this doesn't get too hot. Yeah, you see? So this doesn't get too hot in here. So I think this is better. I don't mind getting my, my head chopped off. By the way, guys, don't think that I don't... I know that I might have my head is chopped off, but I'd rather give you the content than show my face, you know? It's, I want you to see. And it's all about patience, you know? It's like, don't rush on these things. Just let the wax melt, you know? Just give it time, you know? Just give it a lot of love because it's gonna give you a lot of love once you melt it on your melters. By the way, I have a couple of them, melters. The lighting in this room is amazing. I love, I have one, two, three, uh, four, five different light sources and even more, let me just, Pull this forward in here a little bit more. And I have even more. Guys, do you miss me making videos on, on inside the candle bar? I don't miss it. It's it's too close in there, too claustrophobic. I'd rather give you here because you see a, a little bit of the of the of the sky. You know, it's more it's, it's more airy. So I like I like doing the videos in here better. That doesn't mean that I'm not gonna use that candle bar for videos. I will. No, so, okay, it's warm enough. I'm gonna keep it in here in the base. You have to remember uh, uh, on, on the presto pod, you get heat sources all around. Okay, all around it gets hot. Here, only the bottom part. This part is not, uh, actually, yeah, it is hot. This is how you, how you test the color. You take a piece of paper towel. Once you mix the color, you drizzle in here a little bit, and because it's white, it's gonna give you the true color, okay? Remember, the wax is white, so the background is white. If you use a color paper towel, it's not gonna give you the true color because you're using the background color, it's gonna be like other color. 
Okay, it's 169. I'm gonna add a color. So again, uh, this is half an ounce of burgundy and three shifts of orchid. And let it melt together. Let's see how the temperature is. I don't wanna take the temperature of the plastic. One seventy six. Okay, now it's it's melted enough that I'm gonna make the uh, the color uh, the color test. Okay, guys. So again, take paper towel. Okay. So this is the color that's turning, and it's such a beautiful color, guys. Okay. I think this is the color of passion. I think it's beautiful. Okay. So I'm not gonna add any more color. I'm very happy with this. So let's keep going. In temperature. One eighty five. Okay. Okay guys, so it's time to cook with gusto now. And I'm gonna mix for two minutes. But at the same time, I still have heat in here because when I put in the fragrance oil, let me see how much it dropped the temperature. You see, it dropped to 179. So the remaining heat in here will keep this warm. I wanna measure, I wanna mix this really well. Let me just bring this closer. Okay guys, so I'm gonna pour this in here. Let me get some paper towels because this could get very messy. And it's better to be prepared than be sorry. It's 190, so it's still too hot. I need to let it cool. I need to let it cool. So I'm gonna just take it off the heat now and just stir it. Once you take it off the heat, guys, it will go like in no time. It's not that warm anymore. So once I put it in here, it's gonna go down also. But it's still too heat for me to transfer from here to there. I'll be happy if it's 180. I will do it. Okay, it's 185 now. Okay, I'm just going to put a tiny bit. And let's go. I'm going to go from the back to the front. I know my hand's going to be on the way, but there's nothing I can do about it, guys. I'm going to try to go this way. You see how neat this is, guys? It's no mess. Remember, this is gonna shrink, so you're gonna have to pour something, some more to the big hearts, which is a perfect for Valentine's Day. Look how beautiful. The color is gonna be amazing, guys. Okay, and the last ones. Okay. So I think I had a little bit of extra wax, guys, but it's good because I'm gonna have to do a second pour in this, okay? The remainder, I put this back into the into the pot in here. So this is gonna be enough to do a second pour. So as this gets cool, this is gonna get cool also, so I, I can always uh, reheat it back on the grill, okay? You know, and just, you know, and this I can just heat up with the, with the heating gun, and that would be great. Okay, guys, so I come back, when this gets solidified, so I can show you the second pour, okay? Okay, guys, we're back. So let me show you uh, what I mean when I say shrinkage. Let me just go zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. Let me see if I can just put it against the light. You see in here, like, it, it looks like uh, it's sinking deep. Maybe you can see. Anyway, so it needs to be poured a second time because I had, like, a sink, uh, like sinkholes, but not that deep, but... It, it's sinking, okay? So I'm warming up the wax again. Let me just zoom out from here. So I'm warming up the wax again, so I can do a second pour. 118, so this, this needs to come back to temperature, guys, before I pour again. But I can see that they all have like a little bit of a sinkhole in the middle, guys. So that's what I'm talking about, second pour. 
not much uh, these one are bigger so this is not really like that uh, it doesn't have that much of sinkhole there but even that even with that I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna top them off guys 125 in the meantime I'm gonna take the heat gun and I'm gonna warm this up okay I'll be right back okay guys for those of you that started making candles I just want to let you know guys that your best friend is a heat gun you must get one uh, they are not expensive at all you can get them on Amazon like very cheap guys or you can okay this is 159 okay it's 154 turn this off I'm gonna pour this whole thing in there okay and I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna top this up okay so let me just get back into position in here because I want to show you guys it's not too much that I need to be filled so just be careful guys this a little bit goes a long way okay you see now it's kind of messy because it's not that much that you need to fill but that's okay because once you unmold this it should be fine this is going to be the messiest part it's good don't worry about it guys okay now the hearts okay guys so let me just put the rest in here okay so i'm gonna make some melts out of that one also because i have some extra wax and i don't want to throw it away so that's why i like to have some clam shells available you know so you can do no if you need to pour some extras don't throw it away guys you know just do some clam shells like that you know it's money remember you don't want to throw it away it's better to have more than to have less look how easy this is to do the okay so i was only able to do one and a little bit more perfection okay okay so guys, I'm gonna go clean all this up before it gets solidified and I'll be right back, okay? Hi guys, welcome back, yes! So let me show you the final product, guys. These are my beautiful melts for Valentine's Day or for any occasion, guys. So like I told you at the beginning of the, of the video, guys, I'm using TW30. This is like tart wax from California Candle Supply, okay? And I use color. I use burgundy and I use orchid dye chips. These two guys. Uh, I got this beautiful dark rich very sensual uh, like purple purplish color guys and let me just show you how beautiful the heart is Ta -da! look at all the different faucets from the okay so what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna start melting this one I have in here a, a melter so I'm just gonna put in here so you can start melting what well, I'll give you the final recap of what's going on in here guys okay so I got in here uh, I did uh, four different kinds of melt, guys, okay? And um, for fragrance oil, I picked up this beautiful scent, Eco Parts Caribbean Thick Food from West Town Candle Supply, and this one, Tobacco can uh, tobacco Caramel from the Flaming Candle, Eco Parts, and this made a beautiful combination, guys. It smells like yummy, it smells like very comforting. Uh, the caramel on the, the, the tobacco leaf and the woodsiness of the Caribbean thick food <sighs> it's heaven okay perfect for a romantic evening this is gonna be a winner guys so you may uh, want to try it and the one thing that I noticed guys I let me see if I can put you in closer so you can see let me just so some of these this is something that a characteristic as soy was hacks is that it has a lot of uh, some not too much but a little bit of the frosting you see this white part in here guys this is normal on soy wax this is not uh, gonna affect uh, the performance of the melts like you can see in here on the hearts you see the white that's it's called frosting so it's very uh, this is very uh, common on, on soy waxes okay guys so don't let that turn you off you know if you want you can just pick another a lighter shade you know of color so you know it's yeah so but i'm very happy the way this came out guys i as you saw in the video this contraption is for amazon this is a pancake batter uh, dispenser and this came out very handy guys and it has a very uh, tight seal a silicone sealing in, inside and you can just heat it up with the heat cone and it keeps the wax warm okay 
and that's it guys okay so i hope you enjoyed the video guys i just wanted to do this just to make a different uh, a different video guys and uh, just let me just bring this closer to you so you can see the beautiful melts yes okay guys so i'm gonna stop the video here guys so if you want uh, me to do some videos guys just uh, give me some ideas you know this was great somebody from uh, my live stream recommended me to, for me to do this and i just very uh, very gladly i just did it for you guys uh, anyway guys so i'm gonna talk about this and on my Sunday live stream coming up next Sunday and the date is, let me see, on February 6th, okay? Sunday, February 6th, it's gonna be my next live stream at 12 Pacific Standard Time, okay guys? So we're gonna be talking about melts, we're gonna be talking about uh, different fragrance oil, different contraptions, and just bring to the table any Q&A or any ideas or any um, you know, suggestions that you have uh, for, for all of us to learn. Uh, in the meantime, I'm waiting for uh, candles, candle signs, you're gonna have to send me something for uh, spring and summer coming up. And also I order a few fragrances from Stone Candles and I also order other, uh, other goodies from, uh, from Stone Candles. So I'm expecting them to come next, uh, by the end of this, this week. Otherwise, um, I'll show them to you on the next video, okay guys? So thank you for coming guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give a like on the video guys and subscribe to the channel and share my content with all your friends and family and also Check out my other channel, Healthy Living with Michael, where you can learn more about me. Okay, guys? Take care of yourself. I love you. Bye. Yes! Yes!